All right, uh, coming at you with a fishing report for the first week of January. And actually it's gonna probably go into a little bit of next week because it's looking like the river levels are gonna be roughly the same today um, or next week as it is today. So sluts is around six feet. That's kind of our barometer. The Alsi will be, it's probably closer to five. I haven't honestly looked, but it's probably closer to five. Um, anyhow, Decent fishing levels. Uh, the water looks really, really good. That's the most encouraging thing. And there's a bunch of fish in. Uh, it's not, you know, it's not crazy like mid-February numbers, but it's good. People are catching fish. Uh, we're hearing about a bunch of fish being caught. We've, we've, we've come across a few. Um, what I would encourage you to do is go fishing because you have a, you have a three and a half, four month season here that you get to get after it. And when the water's decent, you go. If the water's blown out, you know, don't go. If the, you know, other than that, go. If you got the, if you got the day, go. And don't go for like an hour and then come back to the fly shop and say, oh, it's just not fishing good. <laughs> you know who you are. You know, the, the guy that does that, you know who you are. And I'm sure you're gonna listen to this. So don't, don't be coming back in here talking about I fish for an hour and the fishing sucks. Because no, it doesn't. You, you gotta give it some time. This is this is grind season. You gotta grind out there a little bit. But uh, um, yeah, just go fishing, go fishing. Uh, keep in mind if you're swinging flies, you're gonna be swinging tighter to the bank. Those fish are gonna be tighter to the bank at this point. Um, you don't need, uh, you don't, you don't wanna fish light, but you certainly don't need to fish T14, T18, stuff like that. I would fish a, you know, lightly weighted fly with T11 and get that fly all the way to the bank. That's what I would encourage you to do with a floating head. No, none of the, uh, you know, intermediate heads or anything like that. None of the multi, uh, density heads, none of that. Just fish with the floating head. If it were me, you know, when I go, I'm going to be fishing with shorter Skagit heads. So like a scout or a Skagit short from scientific anglers those are great heads to fish during this situation because you're gonna be tied up against the bank. So keep that in mind. Um, we, we have some of those in stock, so come by if you wanna ask questions about them, come on by. Um, as for indicator guys, uh, you know, like the North Fork of the ILC, that's gonna fish really good this time of year. It, it has been fishing really good as far as the indicator game goes. Um, other than that, if you're gonna fish the sleds or ILC, probably going to want to be in a boat and fishing to the bank from mid-river to the bank. Uh, yeah, but you should just swing flies because it's way more fun and way more rewarding when you get one. So I'm, I'm obviously incredibly biased. Um, speaking of swinging flies, we're going to have a fly tight night, the third Thursday, excuse me, the last Thursday of this month, which I believe is the 26th, I'm gonna double check that on the fly here. Yep, 26th. Um, yep, and it'll just start at six o'clock. We'll have some smoked meat and we're gonna be tying flies. You can tie whatever you want. Um, you know, we'll probably be tying crap like this and uh, having a ton of fun, BS and hanging out, all that stuff. Um, make sure and show up to that. If you, if you don't mind, just let us know if you're coming. That way we know how much meat to smoke and how much food to prepare so and that's on us it doesn't cost you it doesn't cost you anything to come we're just gonna have some fun hang out eat delicious meat tie awesome flies and tell a bunch of lies so there you go uh one quick note about gear uh we have some waders and boots on sale right now we are closing out the freestone and tributary waders and the Freestone and Tributary Boots, along with the G4 Boots as well. So there's some great deals on those right now. Uh, you know, you guys that are just even looking for, our, if you have a nice pair of G3s or G4s, um, you know, buy a backup. The Freestone's a great backup. The Tributary's a great backup. So, you know, if you're looking to just not be waiterless, if you get a hole in your waiters, then make it happen with a backup and on the cheap, so. Thank you for listening.
uh, come on in if you have any questions. Uh, we're doing, we're, you know, we're starting to guide right now. So if you want to get a trip, come on in and we'll get you signed up. Thanks guys.